Long ago in northern Italy, there were two young men who were great friends. They made a promise to each other that whenever any one of them married, why, the other would be their best man. Not long after that, one of the young men passed away. The other, the survivor, was engaged to be married. And he went, he was unsure what to do about his promise to his deceased friend. And so he went to the local priest and the priest told him, why, just go and ask him. And so he did. He went to the freshly dug grave and there he spoke to the young man and said, the time has come, I am to marry. You are to be my best man. And up out of the grave came the deceased man. Why, I will keep my promise. And off they went to the wedding and the reception. Why, there was dancing and stories were told. There was great laughter. But the deceased man never said one word about what he had seen or experienced in the hereafter. When the festivities were done, the deceased man was to return to the grave. And he asked that the newly wedded friend come along with him. And so they went. And they walked along and talked and talked and everything was going so nicely and the time went by so quickly that soon they were at the grave's edge. And all this time, the groom had been thinking about what was it like in the hereafter? Well, he couldn't let his friend go back under the ground without asking, what is paradise like? And the deceased man said, I, I can't tell you, but I could show you. Come with me. And he did. They stepped down into the grave and disappeared. And there they came to the first thing they saw was a great crystal palace. Inside the palace were all the blessed souls dancing to the sound of the angels playing harps, accompanied by St. Peter on the double bass. Oh, what an amazing sight and sound. Why, he tore himself away and on they went to see the other sights. They came to an orchard of trees that had no leaves. But there in the branches were the most magnificent birds, multicolored feathers. He had never seen or imagined anything like it. And on they went, come, come, come and see the stars. And they looked out onto the stars, and he was most amazed that the land, the land was made of cheese and the water, why it was wine. And then, after all these amazing sights, why, it's getting late, I've got to get back to my bride, she's going to wonder where I am. Well, are you sure that you want to leave? Paradise? Well, I, I could stay here forever, but I'm just recently married. I, I must return to my wife. And so he took his leave and went up out of the grave. And when he came up, he looked about and he, he didn't recognize anything. Why? There were tall buildings where there had been stone cottages. There were wide avenues where there had been cart paths. And there were these strange vehicles, 
self-propelled, what we would call automobiles and streetcars, and with a great roar overhead, a flying machine. He was totally amazed. And the first person he came to, he called out, hey, where am I? I don't recognize anything. And he explained to the man where he had been, what had happened to him, that he had gone off, then he had come back. And this is what he sees. And the man looked at him and he goes, that's just an old story that people tell about a bridegroom who went away to the graveyard and never came back and his wife died of a broken heart. No, it's true. I am that bridegroom. Well, I can't help you, but possibly the bishop could. And so they went off to find the bishop. And he told the bishop what had happened, how he had gone off with his friend and visited paradise and came back and everything was so changed. Well, the bishop started looking through the parish records. He went back 20 years, no record of a marriage such as this. 50 years, nothing. 100 years, no record. 200 years and they were into the yellow feathery pages that were turning to dust as he turned them. And then there at 300 years ago, he found the record written there in the parish books of a young man who had left his bride to visit the graveyard and never returned. And his wife died of a broken heart. That was me, cried the young man. Whoa, said the and you have been to paradise? Please, tell me about it. And with that, the young man's face turned ashen gray, and he fell down onto the floor, dead. For you see, his time 